What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another 2022 NBA draft video to of course be going over with you guys. And today I've actually got the New Orleans Pelicans who I will be having picking at pick number eight. Of course the official draft lottery has not happened yet so we've got no idea where any team will be sitting in the draft. But again I'm kind of just going off standings right now and this is supposed to be the Los Angeles Lakers pick, would you believe? So again, it is it is really this high. And yeah, the Pelicans now have it. And I've got a really interesting player that I'm going to be selecting. I think this video might be a little bit controversial because this is probably the only controversial pick I've had, I would say, in the top 10 so far. I think, again, a lot of you guys might be like, well, the Pelicans probably really need a point guard. But Believe it or not, I didn't actually have them taking a point guard. Again, you'll see who I had them taking later. But just before I get any hate or anything like this, the reason I actually didn't have them taking a point guard is because I strongly believe the Pelicans are going to really try hard to try and trade for a more experienced point guard. Again, they were really, really trying to get a dude like Kyle Lowry last year. Um, where they ended up just losing him to the Miami Heat. So I definitely feel like they're going to be trying and doing this again. I'm not exactly too sure who they're going to be getting, but that's just why I kind of feel like they're not going to be drafting a point guard. But if something tells me differently later on that they might take a point guard in the future, then I'll, of course, you know, change it up in the next mock draft I do and have them maybe take in a point guard. But I just want to explain that before the video gets kick-started. Because, yeah, I definitely feel like some of you guys might question this move. And that's just why. I feel like they're definitely going to be looking to trade for a, a point guard out there. And there's definitely going to be guys available. So, I guess without further ado, here's who I have the New Orleans Pelicans taking with the 8th overall pick in the 2022 NBA Draft. Alright, now with the 8th overall pick, we have the New Orleans Pelicans. And they've got definitely... A lot of moves that they're going to be making although I do think they desperately need to potentially bring in a point guard I'm not exactly too sure if that's a hundred percent what they're going to be doing in this draft they went very heavily um, you know trying to get Kyle, uh, Kyle Lowry rather in the last free agency when they didn't get him they set it on Devante Graham but I definitely feel like they might be looking to trade for one of those guys so in saying is I actually feel like they might just go best available and just see what's kind of on the board and with who i think maybe is next best on this list is actually going to be shade and sharp and that's why i have the pelicans taking with the eighth overall pick shade and sharp was legitimately ranked number one in kind of the world at one stage and I, i'm not don't necessarily know if people had him ever going near one but definitely was ranked the one you know first best player at one stage which is pretty crazy to kind of talk about when we talk about shade and sharp so he definitely has a lot of really interesting things about his game he seems to be one of those guys that has an exceptional kind of touch and just getting to the rim just seems to be an easy job for this guy as a really good layout package and again it seems to be a really good dunker as well he definitely is still developing his ball uh, handling his playmaking and his outside shooting game but has been progressing on them legitimately every single year and just seems to be getting better and better as a player. He's kind of got the finishing all done in the NBA. If he could legitimately just consistently hit that three-point shot and be a good ball handler, which it looks like he could be, you know, 100% developing right now in the NBA, I think he will be one to really really watch out for now i actually don't believe at the time i made this video if he's confirmed to be going in the 2022 draft or the 2023 draft but he is eligible for this draft and i think he's already cert you know certified himself as a top 10 pick i just don't know why he would be waiting for the next year but that's already been rumored that's something he could potentially do and i just don't see it if you're already going to be a top 10 pick look you could boost it and maybe go for a top five next year but honestly, I think the way he's kind of playing right now, he should just get drafted, go do his thing. And if he gets drafted to the Pelicans team, who is playing pretty well right now, and look, if Zion gets healthy and does his thing and is back next year, you could be looking at one of the best teams in the NBA. And look, I know David Griffin, he's not going to settle with Devontae Graham as his point guard. I 100% think 
he is going to be looking to try and trade for one of those guys very, very soon. I don't know who it's going to be. Maybe he just drafts someone. But at the same time, I think it may be more likely that he actually goes out and gets a player. And look, who knows if the, you know, Shaden Sharp keeps developing and potentially grows his ball handling and playmaking. He could be maybe a point guard for this team as well. CJ McCollum can definitely play point at times. Maybe they just go with a double shooting guard. It's, teams have done it before. I don't see why they, you know, might necessarily not look at it. So again, Shaden Sharp to the Pelicans with the eighth overall pick, I definitely feel like is something that could happen. And hey, I would also like to note this should be the Lakers pick right now. The Lakers should have this pick, but this was a pick that realistically they gave up for Anthony Davis. And looking back on that trade now, you got Lonzo, they ended up getting Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, um, Josh Hart. I think it was pick four at the time, which was DeAndre Hunter, who I think got traded in some trade package. And now pick eight and could still have future picks. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily a certain Lakers W anymore, but hey, that's a really interesting one for a different video. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Of course, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys agree with my mock draft? Do you guys not? Of course, I would definitely really like to know. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my IRL slash long channel and my gaming channel as well, which I will all be linking in the description down below if you haven't already gone and done that. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.